As a loving and responsible cat owner, there's really nothing worse than seeing your pet in discomfort. The basics, all of those movements that you likely took for granted watching and your pet took for granted doing, they're now a real struggle. In this material, we will tackle the topic of feline arthritis and the important signs that you need to know. If you are the owner of an adult feline, especially a senior cat, this video could be of great importance to you. Stay close. The ability to recognize the signs and symptoms of arthritis can potentially be a real game changer with respect to your cat's health and wellness. Quite common in older felines, although certainly not exclusive to elderly cats, arthritis is a painful joint disease hallmarked by pain, stiffness, and inflammation. While age is one of the more obvious factors involved, obesity, prior injury to joints, and less than favorable genetics can also play a role. When it comes to this specific topic, humans and felines are pretty much on the same page. If you or someone you know suffers from arthritis, that experience in many ways is not unlike the discomfort that a cat feels while coping with this affliction. When it comes to masking pain and discomfort, it's hard to find a living creature that does it better than a cat. Having said that, the ability to mask sickness and disease can make it quite difficult as an owner to really get a read on what's going on. However, when it comes to arthritis, this joint disease is almost impossible to mask, and the visuals produced will be extremely tough to ignore. This is why noticing the signs and symptoms early and being proactive can potentially help your pet to ultimately live with less pain and have a greater and happier quality of life. Arthritis can't be cured, but it can be successfully treated and managed. If you are concerned that your cat has arthritis, we have a series of indicators that are often linked with feline arthritis. Please be mindful that each symptom as a standalone could potentially be rather inconclusive or a sign of something else entirely. However, if the following symptoms appear in clusters, arthritis could be the cause. And as always, if you are concerned about your pet's health, arthritis or otherwise, please seek professional care for your cat and have your pet examined thoroughly. Leave it to the vet to make that all-important diagnosis and treatment plan. The first symptom that I'll speak about today is general inability, the inability to perform the basics. Things that used to be simple and just part of daily living have now become a struggle. Your cat seems to walk around less and rest more. This is not only a sign of a potential health concern, but perhaps mental fatigue and frustration. Cats like people, they can battle a bit of internal anguish when things that used to be so simple are no longer that easy. And speaking of walking, the next symptom involves changes in your cat's gait. If your pet is moving a lot slower than they once did, even months or years prior, be mindful of limping or favoring one leg or even one side. Observe your cat's balance. Does your pet seem a little bit light on the paws or rather stiff with limited flexibility? When your cat gets up, especially after a nap, do they struggle to have enough gas in the tank? Is that get up and go now a difficult task? Do they need a minute just to get up and walk to the water bowl? That body in motion, limping, stiffness, balance issues, lack of flexibility, be mindful of any changes. Of course, you can't talk about a body in motion, especially the feline body, without talking about movements above the ground, the ability to jump to the moon, a life above the rim, just like LeBron James or Michael Jordan. Cats are known for that hang time. Unfortunately, arthritis can leave a cat grounded, uncomfortable, and rather frustrated. If your cat has to muster all they can just to jump on your sofa, a task that once seemed so easy, it required basically no effort at all. This is a major red flag. One of the early indicators of arthritis will involve a cat no longer being able to complete even the most basic of jumps. The next sign, and it's one I speak about quite often when talking of sickness, and that's the lack of grooming. In the case of illness, lack of grooming often caused by lethargy. It's often caused by lethargy. The lack of physical desire or energy to groom. Unfortunately, Poor grooming can also be listed as a symptom that your cat's joints have been compromised. Feline grooming, cats make it look so easy, yet we all know what we are witnessing is far from easy. Most of those grooming postures look like something straight out of the Summer Olympics and the gymnastics competition. It's only when a cat is no longer able to assume those positions that we truly realize and appreciate the gift that is or was that body in motion. When your cat's joints become so stiff and painful, appearance 
will suffer. A bit earlier, I mentioned the importance of watching your cat walk to the water bowl in an effort to focus on your pet's gait. That leads us to another symptom, and that is lack of food consumption. Your cat's joints are stiff and hurting. Over time, the juice simply won't be worth the squeeze. Your cat would rather rest and be hungry than endure the pain of walking. Additionally, walking aside, if the pain is so great, the desire for food could be completely secondary. While this symptom, lack of consumption, I feel that it's a good time to say it once again. That symptoms of feline arthritis can be very misleading and confusing unless they appear in clusters. One symptom, lack of eating, well, taken out of proper context, the reasons could be endless and have zero to do with arthritis. When it comes to this topic and these symptoms, it's wise to take in the entire picture. Another symptom to be mindful of in connection with other signs, and that's general changes in your pet's overall behavior. I started things off by speaking about general inability, the inability to do what was once the basics. When this happens, the effects can go from the top down, impacting most every aspect of your cat's life. This is why the next symptom of concern involves changes in your cat's behavior. Is your cat lethargic? Are they aggressive? If the abnormal becomes the new normal with respect to how your cat behaves at home, your pet could be struggling with not only the pain of arthritis, but also the general frustration of failing joints and the basics no longer being so basic. And the final sign that I'll cover today, and I thought about mentioning this one with the symptom of poor grooming, but the lack of litter box usage or poor litter box usage, it can be a mess in many ways. If your cat is struggling to enter and exit the litter box due to the high sides of the box itself and covering waste has now become a struggle, your cat could find that using the restroom in other places could simply be easier. In short, when using the litter box become a ta- becomes a task, a chore, a workout, some cats that are suffering from arthritis will decide to go elsewhere. Now, taking in the full picture and understanding that you know your very own cat better than anyone else, take stock. Do these symptoms seem familiar? Are they in clusters? Again, if you are concerned, please be proactive and take your cat to the vet. My cat, my late senior cat, Burl, he suffered from arthritis and so many aspects of his physical life were taken from him. Just getting up after a nap and walking around, it became a task, but even in the midst of his struggles, he was leading a happy life. He couldn't jump. I would have to place him up on the sofa and put him back on the floor when the time came, but he was doing all right. Father Time was certainly paying him a visit, but he was still living life. Medications, weight loss, weight loss excuse me, if needed, physical therapy, supplements designed to improve and promote joint health, There are so many options on the table, more options now than ever. If you are concerned about your cat, that elderly cat, be proactive and provide that senior cat wellness for your pet. And to the audience, do you have any stories you'd like to share concerning this topic? Ownership stories concerning your cat and arthritis? Any piece of advice you'd like to share with the community? Things that you have learned about this subject during your own course of ownership, your ownership journey? Anything and everything, the comment section as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.